Do you like to craft? Maybe you like to make signs or children's apparel, possibly aprons or woodworking projects. Whatever it is that you'd like to make, stick around because we're going to interview the owner of Homespun Elegance, a craft store in Valley West Mall. They have all kinds of crafts that you can purchase. Hi, I'm Frank Hansen with Iowa Realty and I'm here with Mandy Berkeley at Homespun Elegance in Valley West Mall. And uh, thanks for being here. I appreciate it, Mandy. Yeah, thank you. All right. Can you tell us a little bit about the store? Yeah, so we're actually all Iowa handmade crafters. <clears throat> Everyone that's in the store has to live in Iowa and it has to be handmade to be in the store. Oh, we have nice. a little over 40 people in the store right now who sell their items in here. Oh, you do? Mm -hmm. and so you're on a consignment basis? Yep, basically that's the way the, stru the structure works, yep. Yeah, and uh, about how many square feet do you have here? We just expanded. I'm not exactly sure how many we have. I know we're a little over 3,000. <clears> oh, wow. So with, as far as the storefront space. And tell me a little bit about some of the items that you have. You had, it looked like you had some woodworking items and... Mm -hmm. Yep, so we carry a variety, <coughs> excuse me, we carry a variety of things. We've got um, children's items from clothing mm -hmm. to toys, um, doll clothes, to kitchen items, um, cups, signs, those kinds of things. <coughs> excuse me, I'm losing my voice. <coughs> we have um, some sports items, woodworking, scroll saw, um, sewing items from blankets, quilts, those kinds of things. We have a large variety. Now, you mentioned earlier that you might be doing some classes here. Yeah, so we have a classroom that when we expanded to the other section, we started to open up a classroom. Mm -hmm. And so we have been doing some classes. We've had some homeschool sewing classes. Um, we've done some classes in the evenings with like signs, string art, those kinds of things. And then we host some private ones. So if someone has like a church group or something they want to do a class with, we do private groups too. Oh, so that's great. So then how, how many can you hold a group of uh, 16 many? at the max. 16? Yeah, with yeah. Three, depending on the project. Um, again, if it's a pretty big project, not that many, but for a general um, sign project, 16. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Do you do like painting? and? Yeah, some of the vendors do painting classes. Um, a lot of them, it just kind of depends on what the people want to do or what kind of is popular at the time. Right, yeah. right. Well, how long have you been open here in Valley West Mall? A little over two years. We started in November of 2017, uh -huh. and we actually just started as a three-month holiday pop-up store to kind of see how it would go, and it went oh, pretty nice. well, so then we continued and stayed, and so this has been our third Christmas season that we just finished. Oh, nice, nice. How was the Christmas season then? It was good. It was our best one so far, oh, so great. that was good, yeah. Yeah, that's great. <laughs> um, I would say um, you've been open here two years. What caused you to go ahead and open a store of your own? Um, actually, I started as, when I was going to open the pop-up, I was just going to do a kiosk in the center. Uh -huh. And um, I checked with a couple different locations, and finding out that the cost would be the same as if I opened a full store. Right. So then I just decided, well, I have several crafting friends, and so we kind of just started pulling in different people, and it just kind of evolved from that. Kind of so how it started. do you draw from your friends primarily? Or? I started that way from, yeah, right. crafters I knew who were friends. It's kind of how we started. And then it's just been word of mouth, um, talking to people at vendor shows, people mm -hmm. that come in who are crafters who want to know about it and join us. So right. it's kind of been a variety now. Do you have a maximum vendors. number of crafters that you would take? We don't, but we stick to just one um, crafter per type of item um, to oh, maximize okay. sales. So like we only have one candle person in here. Um, we have just one person who does... Um, the woodworking as far as the building stuff. We have one scroll saw person. So just to maximize sales, we just have one person per type of craft oh, nice. in here. Nice. So, yeah. Well, thank you very much for doing the interview. I appreciate yeah, thank it. thank you. Um, what we are trying to promote here is for people to shop local. And um, I'm, I have a website, Park Bench, that uh, covers West Des Moines, Clive, and Windsor Heights. And we're promoting uh, people to shop local and get to know the the people that live and work in the community. So if you get an opportunity, go on to parkbench.com forward slash West Des Moines uh, to find Mandy's uh, interview. But um, with that, I'd just like to say thank you again, and um, hopefully uh, we will get a lot of people coming in. Yeah. All right.